Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Hey guys, I'm back. So, I you guys probably haven't seen the video yet, but I did the Christmas haul video. It should, at this point in time, be already uploaded. I know I already asked you guys in that video to pick which set you'd like me to review, so I decided to... Well, of course, the it hasn't come out yet. I'm doing this right away. So I decided to pick for myself, and I went with the Beware the Vulture set. Now, I have already have it built. It's right behind the box. So we have everything already built. We even have PS4 Spider-Man to greet the whole gang. And my... And me in my own spider suit. And... Yeah, so let's take a look at some of the accessories in the set first. All right. Hang on. Oh, uh, hey, real quick, can I have, like, can I have your autograph, please? Um, do, do I know you? Um, yeah, we, we met before. You know, the whole Spider-Verse thing? I don't know what that is. Ah, oh, crap, that's right. He's from the film universe. Um, well, can I just have your autograph? I'm a huge fan. I don't have a pen. I'll, I'll be right back! You know this guy? Um, well, actually, no, not really. I guess he's a big fan. Terrible skit. So... Here's what the accessories we have. We have the web net. We have a web line. We have Power Blast colored white to mimic web shooting. And we have a printed cell phone for Peter. Which actually is kind of rare to get, I would assume. Now, that we take a look at that. Let's take a look at some of the... Well, okay, let's save the figures for last. Let's take a look at the... One pain in the buttocks that was woe, and that is the getaway van. Now the vehicle. Now, if you've seen Spider-Man: Homecoming, this is the vehicle. This is the scene where you end up see where Peter was supposed to be at the party with Ned and Liz Allen, but he ended up seeing an explosion in a distance and wanted to go check it out. When he was spotted by people testing out the weapons, one of them being Donald Glover, they, may try, they tried to make a getaway. This is when Peter's about to meet the Vulture. So, we have only one figure driving this, the Shocker. I'm not sure if that's Herman Schultz or the other guy. But, yeah, either way. So, we have a few stickers. This has a lot of stickers. We have the license plate. We have a web shot. We have a little bit of wear and tear and scruffs. We have another web shot. How's my driving? Shocking. We have more stickers on there. And you may be wondering, oh wow, it's a truck that you can mess around with. Wow, how fun. Well, Transformers, roll out. Yep, damn it. Yeah, this thing just open the back up and apparent and being completely film in in completely being inaccurate to the film has a turret on top. I could roll it around, but since I can't since I don't really clean my room as much, I am likely to lose this. So I'm just gonna put this back. Oh wait, actually, there's one thing I want to just throw out there is if you look at the stickers on the boxes they actually have the first appearance dates for some of the characters amazing spider-man number two the aso2 is the first appearance of the vulture there is as46 the first appearance of shocker and on the side here, TS-34, no 39, 
which is the first appearance of Iron Man. Which is kind of cool that he gets a reference to his first appearance. Now, if we can close this up. We will... Oh, actually, hang on. Let me get him out. Yeah. So, here we have the Shocker. Now, I'm pretty sure... Well, I'm not sure which one this is. If this is Herman Schultz or the other guy. But, like, there are two different Shockers, I guess. Because there was the other dude who Vulture killed for testing out the weapons out in the open. And then gave the shock gauntlets to this guy, which... <laughs> Gave him the little gauntlet things, really? Okay, I guess it kind of makes sense because they wouldn't build a new piece for Shocker. But yeah, I gotta say, I'm not. Well, I'll save my opinions for later. I don't like this figure, is not half bad. There's the arm printing, which has the fishnet thing going on which is the usual shock a reference to the usual shocker costume have the hood printed on the back and more printing on the front and yeah nothing much going on on the head or hair and the most disappointing bit about this is the gray legs come on lego i mean sure i mean you you added in some good details but it would have been nice to add some detail on the legs well, I won't hold it against you, because Lego's awesome. Everyone knows that. So, moving on, we have Vulture. Uh, ignore that. So, we have Vulture. Now, this figure is actually kind of cool. We have, I always actually liked the costume for Vulture in this set. It actually, well, not just the set, but in the movie. Sure, like, they could have gone with the classic costume, which, by today's standards, it probably doesn't look like it would fit in well with the hip and modern age. So, they kind of pimped him out with, actually, I think, a cool design. They do have, it's not as detailed, but, yeah, on the Yeah. On the torso, we have a fur thing build up. Well, no, like kind of the whole main thing. I don't know what it's called, but you have the little stuff on the thing for the jacket. I, I don't know what it's called. You have the helmet, which they use the one helmet mold for Iron Man. And underneath he has his Lego head, which I'm pretty sure they've used this before for another Vulture fig, and I guess they it was a good idea to go with the same one. Even looks like Michael Keaton. And as you've seen before, we have got his wings. So this was actually a fun build for me, because, dude, look at those wings. They have the little shield pieces from Nexo Knights. Um, there's a lot of possibility on the wings and this thing here. And there's a, even a few stickers on the back here. You have stud guns on the side. And he fits on there perfectly. Now, let's go ahead and take a look. At these two figures, which are probably my favorites, we have Spider-Man and Iron Man, as they were both seen in Homecoming. So, I'll save the best for last. But yeah, I like... I actually like this figure. This is supposed to be the same armor that Iron Man wore from Civil War, but just made to look gray and silver but also fun fact it's said that 
Tom Holland actually inspired his version of Spider-Man on the Ultimate Universe, which is actually awesome. Because, yeah, I actually had to talk about that in one of my other set reviews. Because, if you remember, I said that Thor's look, this look for Infinity War, or Infinity Thor, I guess, is looks more like it resembles the Ultimate Comics. For Iron Man, it's the same thing, where most of the base is gray. It's actually kind of cool. What a coincidence. Now, to compare Iron Man to other Lego figs, we have the kind of only comic accurate Iron Man Lego fig. We have the all new, all different international Iron Man. And then we have the, one of my favorites, the sand green Scumba suit Iron Man. I saved the best for last. And the star of the set, we have Spider-Man. Now, Okay, I'm actually actually really like this. One of the reasons why I got this set was because, well, I I had a Spider-Man, I had a MCU Spider-Man custom Lego fig before, but I had to use it for the PS4, which is all scratched up. But sorry, but now I have a replacement. So yeah. It's a really simple suit, it's a really simple design, and it actually looks great. It looks all black to you, but it's this dark blue. Really great. They go into detail with the eyes. Oh, I can't really take it in that much because camera. But yeah. If you look closely at the mask, though, if you have the set, if you look closely at it, it has a little lens thing that kind of goes with the emotion thing. Now to compare this with other Lego figs, we have the PS4 Insomniac Spider-Man. We have, um, hey, get out of here. You're not welcomed here right now, numerous. We have Miles Morales. Spider-Man from the Ultimate Universe, made to look like the Into the Spider-Verse. We have Spider-Gwen. We have Dr. Aaron Eichmann, Spider-Man. We have the Sam Raimi, Spider-Man. We have the Black Suit, Spider-Man. We have Big Time, Spider-Man. We have Spider-Man Noir. We have Spider-Man 2099. We have SP slash slash DR. A little. Don't get to see much. And yeah. So I really so I really hope you guys enjoyed this set review. Uh this was actually really fun to build. No, really, it was a blast. I was listening to Blitz Creek Bop while I was building this because it was in the song. It was the song was in the movie. I hope you guys enjoyed this set review. If I'm going to do this other set over here very, very soon, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you later. Merry Christmas!